G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Lakeland Vale Farm. We are back here on Lakeland after our hiatus and we are getting straight back into it. However, one disclaimer. We just recorded an episode where we finished bringing off all the bales from the field, finished off the harvest and all that sort of stuff. And for some stupid reason, OBS decided to not record the video. So... Instead of you watching a black screen with just me talking in it, we have just decided to skip that one altogether and just continue on. So what you have to imagine is we've just been through, we've collected all our bales down here, we've finished the harvest, and now we just have to put away the equipment and get started from there. We've also got a hired hand over in the other field at the moment. He is just doing some potato laying, I think. Have a look, I think he's still, let's get rid of that. Uh, is he still at work? He's over there. No, we have to get him started again. Right, so let's go over here. He's over here. He's going to be getting this field. In fact, he's almost finished this field uh, with a potato harvest. We just need to fill him up with potatoes, actually. So let's uh, go off and do that first. Oh, we don't want to do that. We want to get this guy started. So um, that's what we'll do. We'll go and fill this, fill this up with potatoes and some liquid gold some liquid um fertilizer and we'll get him started again now what did happen in the last episode or the episode that i recorded actually as well is just as i started talking about it and what i'm about to talk about i got a message and uh, it was to give me exactly what i'm talking about and what am i talking about oh, i'm talking talking in riddles aren't i what i'm talking about is Stevie's next map, Lakeland Vale 2. That's right, the successor, well, not successor, but it's the partner to Lakeland Vale, uh, has now been put out for testing. So he, just as I was talking about it, he messaged me to say that here is the link and uh, fill your boots. Now, why is that not? Why aren't you filling that up? Is this just a day of where everything's going to go wrong? There we go. Um, yeah, so he sent me a message saying that uh, here's the map link and uh, fill your boots. So we have now got Lakeland Vale 2. Now, that means we're going to be busy testing all that sort of stuff, which is, which is grand. Happy to do that. Also means we'll probably bring you a preview video and all that sort of stuff, and you'll get to see... Uh, the map in all its beauty and all that sort of stuff. But what it also means is that we've got another map to consider. Now, rest assured, now I've got to find where I was. Uh, rest assured, we aren't going to be stopping this series now and jumping over Lakeland 2. Now, everyone that knows Stevie, and it's certainly, I know it certainly frustrates some people, it frustrates me sometimes as well. Um, Stevie has a habit of releasing a map and uh, we'll just get this guy going and uh, really why you did it and he then uh, puts updates out for it quite regularly now normally I have no problem with that um, I think it's quite good that Stevie's taking ownership and wants to improve it and all that sort of stuff and makes things better and also is very quick to fix any problems that, that are missed in testing or whatever else. Um, but he, it can be very annoying, especially when you're doing like a series like this, um, because sometimes what he changes has to cause a, a new save game. So in this instance for Lakeland Vale 2, we will not be jumping straight over until at least a couple of weeks after. It's been released publicly. Uh, just purely because, well, number one, we're busy here with Lakeland, but also we want to sort of capture the latest version. So I will do a preview video and a, and a showcase video and all that sort of stuff. Apologies for that. When the wife rings, we must answer the phone. It's frustrating as it is. All right. So, yeah, we are not going to jump straight over into Lakeland 2. We are going to take our time and... Uh, we will get into it when we get a chance. Right, let's uh, get into the work here. So talking about this, we're going to unload our harvest from the field that we just finished. 
Now, basically what we want to do is we've collected all our bales and all that sort of stuff, which is all fine. And we're selling off this, well, we're offloading our uh, harvest here. What we need to do is we need to make enough money to get a harvester in for our potatoes. So we're planting potatoes, which we said we're going to do, and we've got the potato washer and all that sort of stuff we've got to install. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, but to do that, we need some harvesting equipment to harvest our potatoes. And that's going to cost us some dollars. So we need to look at what we've got in the way of product and go to market with it. So what we're going to do is we can come back around here and realign myself. So I don't think we've got anything else in the way of a harvest due in the next day or so. So I want to have a look and see what we've got in the bins to see what we can go off and sell because uh, I want to get prepped ready for our potato harvest. Right. So let's just jump out of the cab here. All right, have a look over here. What have we got? So we've got 180,000 litres of wheat. Uh, we've got some grass. So we really haven't got a lot there that can be sold. Uh, we've got some milk. In fact, let's have a look at the animals while we're here. Uh, cow. Okay. Well, we've only got the 32 cows, so we're not producing a hell of a lot of milk. Uh, we have got a few wool bales we can probably get rid of. Um, but there's not much in the way of crop itself. So that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll leave the truck here for now because I don't think we're going to need to offload anything else. So we're just going to shut him off. Right. Now, what we're going to do now is we'll go clear off the stuff from here. So what we could do is actually we could sell these bales. I don't know how much we'd get for them. Um, let's just trail up. Trailer is not going into auto load for some reason. Why isn't that going into auto load? Because it's on pallets. Let's put it back to large square bales. Okay. There we go. That's better. Right. Whoops. Don't want to do that. Right. Uh, we could sell these bales. Like I said, uh, we've got a few in the bale storage now. Uh, have a look. Slot up through here through the shrubbery I haven't got a lot of bales there I think what we'll do is we'll keep these I think we want to make sure we've got these uh, where are we Those ones off. And we get these other ones off here at the back. Sorry, just concentrating. There you go. Right. They offloaded those bales. The bales are now clear. Uh, truck can stay there for now. Right. What we need to do. I think the next thing is to clear up this. Oh, we got some more bales here. All right, take these bales off here. And then that field is clear and we can get back into working on that. Now, this field doesn't need any lime. It doesn't need to be ploughed. Um, so we're all good to go. In fact, the truck's going to be in the way. So I'm just going to take this up here for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the cultivator. I'm just going to co give that... Uh, Field a bit of cultivation and we'll move on from there. Right, so I want the. Is he going so quick? 
What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be planting, you moron. Oh, seriously. What the hell are you doing? I mean, seriously, it's not that hard to do your job. Right. Try again. You have to just supervise you permanently or something? Man. Could help you so hard to find. Right. Nearest waypoint. Oh, that's probably why. Drive course. Okay, I take that back. It was my fault. I told you to go for a drive instead of actually just working. Anyway. All right, we'll move right along from there. We'll just leave that more on alone. All right, uh, truck there. Right, this is what we're going to grab. We're going to grab the big Steiger, and we're going to go off and grab our cultivator, and we're going to get started on that field. Then we're going to have a look and see what else we need to do, and perhaps go grab some wool bales, and look at collecting them, and seeing if there's much of a profit in those to be had. Uh, and then we might go down and have a look and see what was going on in relation to our digesters and all that sort of stuff as well. All right. All right, so pull him out. Off we go. Oh, cut that too far, did I? Oh. Oh, the bad gear change didn't like that one at all. <clears throat> right. This is our new cultivator, but we haven't, I don't think we've used this one yet. So we'll break ground with this today. Right. So unfold him. Alright, Steiger should have no problems at all in pulling him around. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a course and we'll get him going because we've got other things we want to go and check and set up. Uh, no, he's going to be fine. Course generation, field 21, headland to uh, start working on up, down rows, bypass islands, don't need to worry about, only one tool, uh, skip rows one. And we want to generate a field course. We go back and we want you to of course. Okay. Okay, so he's off and running. Let's check to see. Make sure that's okay. Yep, cultivated first. Level of... No. Yep. All good. So we will come and put a level of fertiliser on there once he's cultivated. Uh, but that'll all be well and good. All right. Let's go and have a look. Let's see what we've got in the way of wool bales. We've got a fair few wool bales here. So let's uh, collect some of those up. And we'll put them in the storage. Then we'll see exactly what we've got left in the storage. Which will determine whether or not we take them off for sale. All right. Anyway, I don't think I've said it already yet today because of the botched up start and all that, but I hope everyone is well. Uh, the restrictions around coronavirus are just starting to sort of be lifted here, certainly in Australia. Um, oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. All right. Ah, right. So, yes, started to be lifted around here in Australia a little bit. Um, we've got sport coming back. Certainly, a grassroots sport is starting to go back to some normality. Uh, my son and... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Actually, you know what? Let's just... Let's just have a look. Let's have a look at the sale price for wool. I'll get back to what I was talking about in a second. Farm wool sales is 1018 
Yeah, the US spinnery is almost, effectively almost double. Right. Um, but that doesn't work. I've got to remember that I can't go on that side because that's where it's going to sell. Right. Could just do it one at a time. I should get the other bail, bail forks on and then do those other forks. Anyway, um, yeah, so sport is starting to return. Our National Rugby League has been back and playing. Um, grassroots sports and my son's soccer team, for instance, they started training this week and that's sort of getting back. So hopefully we're going to get the kids out on the fields very, very soon for their competitions. In fact, they are um, next month. So... Uh, things are yeah, starting to slowly get back. We've got cafes now that are allowed to open up and gyms and all that sort of stuff. So um, people are starting to get their lives back to where they were post-COVID. Uh, everything's still going to be a little bit different to what it has been and what we've known it, but uh, that's okay. Now, of course, I mean, there is has been the other big thing in the world, and that was the... Uh, the uh, George, was it George Floyd? Uh, anyway, the American that uh, unfortunately passed away. Um, and there's been all the Black Lives Matter and all that sort of stuff. Now, I'm not going to criticize the channel. We're not going to get into that. Um, all I want to say is all lives matter. And um, I just hope that everyone is thoughtful and peaceful and just uh, conducts their demonstrations in a peaceful manner. Um, and uh all will be good in the world but um yeah anyway all right and grab these bales i mean I, in fact i didn't even see how many bales we've got in the storage i didn't look as we drove past last couple of times so i'll have a look this time and see what we've got in there uh, i'm not sure whether there's going to be enough in there because we did do a sale of yeah, we've got bugger all in here, so it's not even going to be worth taking a truckload um, for the moment. All right. What we will do... Oh, we've got two over there on that trailer. Um, yeah, that's okay. We're going to leave them. We'll go ahead and have a look at the uh, the cows. I think the cows... We can look at the digestate and all that, like we said. Uh, we may need to do some uh, transferring of... TMR or whatever into silos um, so we'll have a look at that as well shortly let's get these just take these two I'll leave those other two there for now let's move these two over in here to the wool shed I'll leave the manitow over here as well just leave him parked there there we go all right we'll just disconnect that uh let's uh go for a bit of a drive and have a little cows and everything else down below all right we're also going to go around and have a look at our placeables here actually and see what we've got because i don't think we've installed potato machines as yet but they're going to have to be installed at some time in the near future, now we've got the potatoes planted. Um, we're going to need to make sure we've got all the equipment in there to deal with the potatoes. And we come down to the cows. A little bit of manure in there, not a lot. What have we got in here in the way of TMR? Let's have a look. Oh, we've got plenty of TMR. Uh, we're not producing any. So probably could bring down some grass and some silage. Um and get that going. How much milk we got stored up in here? Probably bugger all. Yeah, 2,739. Um, yeah, but bugger all. Right, we need some more cows. That's what we need. <clears throat> all right, we head back around the placeables area now which used to be the uh the stables and we'll see what's going on there 
love this little section of the farm like coming down coming down here to the cows and then coming down through here it's just looks lovely really do like this area at this point in time i can tell you i haven't actually looked at lakeland vale too um all i've seen is the pictures that stevie's put up on his facebook page that we've been sharing on our facebook page uh so i'm really looking forward to getting in and having a look at it I, I feel it'll be very similar to what we've got here and what we've had in fenton forest um that's okay so we've got 245,000 silage there and we've got 245,000 digestate and that's still processing some bulk material there so i think what we'll do is we'll come and get some some silage and we'll take that to the cows i oh, sorry to the tmr mixer and we'll get the tmr mixer running again um we might transfer some tmr up to the main silo though i think because if we're going to get some more cows i want to build up a stock of tmr but that'll be fine although let's have a look and see exactly what cows are doing feed wise uh they're fine they got more than enough at the moment more than enough well in fact i think they've got so much yeah all right what we're gonna have to do this is what we get this is the plan this is the plan let's take some of our wheat we're gonna sell our wheat that we've got stockpiled we will see how much it's going to cost us then for a potato harvester Oi, what's what's he doing Oh, seriously? You just you just did the outside and you think that's it? Because you didn't start at the start point. That's what it'll be. All right. So this this episode, or these the episode and the episode before are just full of just disasters. Right. Stop driver. First waypoint. Drive course. All right, come on. Go to the first waypoint and start your course. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, it's down over there. Right, good boy. Off you go. Right. So yeah, we'll go sell some wheat and then we'll go and have a look and see how much it's going to cost us for our potato harvesting equipment that we want to get. And then we can be better informed of what we need to do with everything else. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the new home, park this in here. All right, shut you off. Right, so we're going to go over here. We're going to fill this truck up. All right. I no, I don't want seeds. wheat now while we're filling up let's have a look and see where the best sale point is for the wheat at the moment and us mill by the look of it okay the us mill is down near the town that's okay we got one full load of wheat for the truck and then we'll have a little bit left over We'll have what uh i think eighty thousand dollars so that eighty thousand eighty thousand liters that means we've got almost a full load and a second load to do if we wanted to all right now let's go see how this truck goes with the cell points here on like i don't think i've actually taken this to any cell points yet we could be using auto drive to do this uh but i choose not to i'm going to drive it manually all right get this truck wound up
doesn't want to slow up. Oh, those brakes need to be tested, I think. Oh, what the hell? Where did you come from? Where the hell did that come from? Because it certainly wasn't there when I came in. I'm sure of it. Right, turn it off for now. Right. <laughs> you didn't see that. Righto. Let's get in there and unload and see how we go. All right, unload the lead trailer. Ah, oh, should be all right. I don't think these trailers are going to hit the top. Okay. Well, it gives 30,000 for that trailer. This one will give us about 50. God. No, I was not happy. So you just need to come forward more when we're unloading. Uh, okay, so 46,000. All right. So if we did the other load, that would give us probably another $60,000. That'll take us up to about 270000 So we need to go to the shop and have a look and see how much our potato harvesting equipment is going to cost us. Um... We don't really want to be taking another loan. Uh, then we'll have to reassess the state of our fields and whether we've got any crops that are going to be coming in soon, all that sort of stuff. So, all right, let's pull in here to the shop. Okay, let's go and have a look see and see what we've got. So, potato technology. Uh, yeah, we're going to be a bit short. 325000 for a panther. Um, or 456 for a grimy Veritron. Right. So perhaps... Perhaps leasing will be the way to go for the at least the first harvest of potatoes. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to afford that otherwise all right that's okay so let's go and grab some more of that actually no we're not going to grab any more wheat we'll just leave what we've got there for now in the silo uh, we may end up needing that some other way um so we'll leave that there for now i do want to put in some seed production as well so i want to produce our own seeds so we're not buying seed all the time um so we need to get that installed down there placeable area as well but that's uh, not an immediate concern to us. All right. Leave you here. Okay. All right. So uh, what else we got to do? That's right. I was going to go get some digesto, actually, wasn't I? So we'll take the truck. We'll go down to the placeables area. We'll grab some digesto. We'll bring that up and fill up the TMR mixer. And that will be okay for there. And I might bring some TMR up here to the main silo. So we'll head on down here. All right, we'll do this. We'll do one load of digestate. Uh, because then it's going to be time to sign off. We've we've been here for 25 minutes now. And uh, time does go very, very quickly. But, uh, yeah, we want to uh, move on over and get into the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If not, that's okay. We've certainly enjoyed bringing it to you, even with the minor disasters. Right. But, uh, yes, we, uh, we're thoroughly enjoying our time here on Lakeland Vale. And we are really looking forward to getting stuck into a Lakeland Vale 2 as well. So um, hopefully you can come and join us for more Lakeland videos. And also join us later on for Lakeland Vale 2. 
All right, first trailer full. Well, second trailer, and then we'll go back up and offload, and then that will be it for the episode. Almost there. So 100,000 litres, that means we've got, uh, what, just shy of 400,000 litres left in this bin. Um, but we'll bring some grass down as well. We might do that in the next episode. We'll bring some grass down and fill these up, get these going again, and uh, making sure they're still producing. Uh, and then uh, we'll start working on the other placeable stuff as well. So I think what we might have to do is we might put the potato washers and all that sort of stuff in there, get that constructed. Uh, and we'll le just lease, like I said, that we'll lease the potato harvesting equipment for the first harvest. And then hopefully with the money we make from that harvest, we should be able to um, get enough money to buy a harvester then. So uh, hopefully that will all work out and go to plan. All right, so we're going to offload this here and that will be it for today's episode. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the episode like we said before. If you did, press that like button. If you didn't, that's okay. Don't forget to come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. The details for all those are down below. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when more videos are available on the channel. And until next time, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Dark Solar Gaming and Lakeland Vale Farm. Take care. See you all later. Bye.